right, let's test it out. Panels can be such an easy way to jazz up a pretty boring space. So today I'm gonna to show you how I built a frame around these panels in particular. So I'm gonna start off by just cutting this first corner off at a 45 degree angle. There we go. Then I wanna flip my wood like so, cause while I'm flipping it, that'll allow me to get the same cut to be mirrored on this side. There we go. See this blade falls here, giving me the long end, the long end. The base frame goes on after, and in my case, I used exterior screws to screw it together. You also wanna make sure that the panel is aligned with the frame or else it'll make it look messy later. And it's panel time. Something like that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using black screws so they hide in here, but I'm going to cover this anyways with the frame. Shoot now, just to make it look good. Um, I also made sure that the screw is very flush so when I put my frame on it, it doesn't stick out any. I made sure that it's uh, lined up with the edges on either side. I did have one sample where I put a lighter color underneath. Um, we decided not to go with that, and so a little bit got overspilled here. I'm going to sand that off. But other than that, um, we're ready to rock and roll. Also, if you remember, I just screwed the frame in this way with these long screws here. You see, I have one of these. So I use one of these long screws in the bottom frame. So I have a, a screw all the way down to there. So that's why I'm going to put this panel screw offset over here. I'm putting these panels on an uneven fence. So on the back side, when this is sitting against it, there might be some air pockets in between. And since I'm putting a light on the bottom that's gonna shine up, I really don't want the light to be spilling out the sides. So to mitigate that, I'm using some rubber foam. See, the stuff I got is um, 7 16 thick. And as you can see, it's really squishy. So when the weight of this leans against the fence, it should compress where it needs to and fill in the gaps where there is space. I think this stuff cost me like three to four bucks each. When I put these panels up to sample them the other day, I saw the light coming through. And so I woke up and I was like, oh my God, what if I use foam? And so I went online, found some sticky foam, and I think it's gonna do the trick. All right, so I found my center. Six feet one, so half of that would be three feet. I'm using an eyeliner because that's all I had. It'll smudge in just fine. Get the smoky eye effect. All right, so this is the center of that split space and my panels are too deep. So. All right, so here's the foam. Here's my uneven fence. Hang it. And it's pretty, pretty good. I think it'll work. Now you can leave it just like that or you can add a frame to the front. I decided to add a front frame because I think it would just finish off this space. I just decided to add the front frame while they were hanging. I used the nail gun and then I wanted to add a finish to the wood to make it last longer. I just put up some cardboard to not overspray on the fence and gave it a nice little spray. This is an easy way to add framed panels to your wall. Of course, you can just attach them directly to your wall. But again, because I wanted to have some lights inside of them, I offset them and added the foam. From the premier editing studios of Sarita Landscapes, I'm Sarah Bendrick. Thank you for watching. <laughs>